Look at that video title. That has just made about 60 sweaty men pass out with rage. Because nothing, and I mean nothing, makes people more angry than me trying to save them money. Uh, I'm gonna analyze every single aspect of the differences between Zigbee and Wi-Fi, and in fact, there aren't really any, uh, and then explain to you exactly how I came to those conclusions, and you can make up your own mind at the end of this video. Was Paul right? He was. He was. So for all the newbies, what even is Zigbee? And the answer is, it's just Wi-Fi. And there are a whole bunch of people in the comments section already going, no it's not, it's so much more than that. It really isn't. Uh, there are some subtle differences because it's running on a separate frequency band from your wireless router, and we'll talk about those later on. But the key fact is that it is just a wireless signal running over the air so that one device can tell another device, please turn on. And that device can say, hey other device, it worked. First and foremost, the price of Zigbee is ludicrous. We're talking about twice the cost of its Wi-Fi equivalent for sensors, switches, plug sockets, and light bulbs. And it doesn't matter who you buy it from, or who the manufacturer is, it's the same every time. At least twice the cost. And why? And if you're in my comments section now, saying, because Zigbee is better. It's not! It's the same thing on a different frequency but Is that frequency band reserved for the Queen? No, it's not! So why does it cost twice the price to operate on it? It doesn't, does it? They're just screwing you for every penny that they can get for no good reason. If you disagree with me, I'd like a really good explanation please in the comments as to why operating on a different frequency band costs more money. Ah, but my Philips Hue Hub can handle up to 55 devices and your Wi-Fi router will get upset after just 20, they'll say condescendingly. But the thing that they're forgetting, of course, is that by the time you've bought 20 Philips Hue, or in fact any Zigbee devices, you've wasted so much money, you could have bought this. This is a router from Ubiquiti, and it's absolutely awesome, and is kind of the main point of this video, because this is the biggest argument people have against Wi-Fi, is once you've got too many devices, your router gets upset. I'm going to prove this one doesn't now. There is right now, in my comments section, some Zigbee nerd typing this. Hang on a minute! No, because all of those devices are very chatty, and what will happen is they'll go through the Ubiquiti router and onto your ISP's modem, and the routing table will get built up full of stuff, and because of all that stuff there will be no room for traffic to- Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I've done speed tests, I've done uh, path pings, I've done everything you can think of with all of those devices running simultaneously and it makes absolutely no difference. Look on Wikipedia! Look in my comments section! It doesn't matter where you look, there is someone telling you that Zigbee will cost you less electricity than Wi-Fi. What they won't tell you, of course, is that although the protocol Zigbee will cost you less than the protocol Wi-Fi, not every manufacturer has implemented this efficiently enough to actually give you a saving. I've proved this, unfortunately for Philips Hue, once again, I have proved this with Philips Hue, the king of Zigbee. 
So I took my Philips Hue bulb and my Nova Stellar bulb, I put them side by side, and I put them through uh, energy measuring electricity sockets, and guess who lost? That's right, the king of Zigbee. Range does not matter. Next! Fine, we'll talk about range. So the reason I'm saying range doesn't matter is because I live in a four-bedroomed house with a sizable garden and I actually can't get far enough away to make either of the things fail. I took my light bulb for Philips Hue and my Wi-Fi light bulb from Nova Stella and took them all the way to the bottom of my garden and I could still control them both. If you're having a problem with range, you'll have a humongous house and should probably consider getting Wi-Fi repeaters. Uh, the amplifier solution actually comes with them if you buy the full kit, and they are flipping brilliant. Uh, if you're a Philips Hue owner, herein lies the problem. Uh, you cannot get two Philips Hue hubs and control them both through the same app. What are you thinking, Philips Hue? I just can't, I can't get my head around it. You have to use a different phone with a different Philips Hue app to control your other hub. Wi-Fi has a longer range than Zigbee. That is an indisputable fact. Google it. I will wait. I won't wait. So unfortunately for me, I went out to prove this on camera and had to go all the way into my neighborhood with a Wi-Fi bulb and a Philips Hue bulb where my neighbors are. So one of my neighbors walking his dog walks past me and goes, afternoon. And I'm there like this with two lit bulbs in my hand going, I, uh, guess what? Philips Hue won. So the fact of the matter is that not every device is created equal. Uh, the Philips Hue antenna in the bulb is very good. Uh, the Wi-Fi bulb I've got, the antenna is not so good. I proved this shortly afterwards by taking a plug socket that is Wi-Fi and I took it much further than the Philips Hue would reach. So my Wi-Fi plug socket has a better range than my Zigbee bulb, but my uh, Wi-Fi bulb does not. So once again, it's down to the manufacturer as to whether you're going to get a better range out of a product or not. You could buy a very cheap Zigbee bulb and find that the range on it is very poor. This is another reason range does not matter. Zigbee owners will tell you that Zigbee is more convenient than Wi-Fi. Really? If I take a Wi-Fi bulb and put it on the opposite side of my house from my router and tell the router, train to that Wi-Fi bulb, as long as it's in range, it'll pair. If I take my Philips Hue hub and say, hey Philips Hue hub, I've just put an LED strip on the front of my house, could you, could you pair to that? It goes, but it's so far away! And I have to literally dangle my Philips Hue hub out of the upstairs bedroom window to get it close enough to the LED strip to train it. And then a week later, it lost it! And I had to go and do it all again! That's not convenient! This last one is another myth. So the Zigbee crowd will tell you that Wi-Fi devices need an internet connection to work, and that's not true. Uh, there is a vast majority of them that do because they rely on a server in China to switch stuff on and off. And that stuff works flawlessly before you start coming at me saying, that's not good enough. Uh, but if you don't like that idea, the Lifex stuff is Wi-Fi based and works in your house. So if we're talking about protocol and only protocol, Wi-Fi is no worse than Zigbee in this area either. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything, but if you want to hit me up in the comments and go, oh. Zigbee is great, I hate you. That's fine, please do that. Explain to me exactly why Zigbee is a better protocol than Wi-Fi and why we're paying double the price even for the very cheapest products. Uh, you can have a look in the description. I've linked to an Excel spreadsheet where I've gone and found all the cheapest Wi-Fi stuff I can find and all the cheapest Zigbee stuff I can find. And the Zigbee stuff is twice the price, I promise you. Uh, also, thanks to Ubiquity for making this amazing router. I am in love with it. Uh, if you want to buy one of these, they're not the cheapest router in the world, but seriously, have a look at that spreadsheet and you'll see just how much you're going to save by not buying Zigbee stuff, and you can buy one of those. Uh, this will of course also cover all the dead spots in your house, which won't happen if you buy loads of Philips Hue hubs, it's never going to cover the dead spots. Uh, so consider this as an, an investment, it's really really good. Links in the description for that. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you don't ding the bell, then you won't get told when I do stuff. 
Uh, be one of these people. These are my patrons and they are awesome, awesome people. They keep me going, they keep me doing this. Uh, you can be one at either Patreon uh, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal and I'll love you forever. Uh, come and hang out at all of the Instagrams and the Twitters and the Facebooks and I promise to make you laugh. I promise. Uh, that's it. I shall see you next time. The main point is that... I've forgotten what the main point is. I don't know what I'm saying and I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> In this video, all I want to do is, I don't know what I want to do. Signals in the air. Is that frequency band occupied by the Queen? <laughs> this much. Bollocks. Too long to fit on the camera. <laughs> Within range of the Wi-Fi hub, router, bulb,